as Hey there, friends. Good afternoon to you and happy Friday Eve. 85 degrees feels like 95 degrees. We have blue sky as well as some passing clouds as well as a few showers just to the southwest of Baton Rouge. We had passing showers mainly along the 10 and 12 today, but not all areas saw rain. If you did see rain, it was very brief. Temperatures across the area, 89 in Gonzales, 87 in Thibodeau, 91 in Homa, but our feels like temperatures are in the 90s and 100s. They were much higher earlier and this is going to carry through into our Friday. In fact, our feels like temperatures are going to be even hotter. So taking you through the evening planner, only a 20% chance for rain this evening, 10% around 7 o'clock, 8, 9, 10 o'clock. We're nice and dry. We'll have clouds and then some stars out there and temperatures will be in the low and mid 80s. Overnight, we'll fall to about 75 degrees. We're mostly dry and tomorrow, we're mostly dry as well. The rain chance only 20 to 30 percent, but it is going to be downright hot. Yes, 93 degrees. That's near average, but with a high humidity in place, it's going to feel well into the triple digits and that is dangerous heat. So we have a heat advisory that kicks in tomorrow morning and we're going to have spotty thunderstorms around this weekend. Still going to be hot. Highs in the mid 90s feels like temperatures in the triple digits, but rain coverage will be slightly higher over the weekend. The summertime weather pattern is going to continue into next week, and I'm going to break it all down for you in a minute. But here's a look at the heat advisory. It includes the Baton Rouge Metro along and south of the 10 and 12. So this means heat illnesses will be possible if you do not take proper precautions and you stay cool, you stay hydrated, and please don't forget about your pets in this heat as well. So drink water, take frequent breaks, and reduce any strenuous activity, especially during the peak heating time of the day. So this is the big picture. High pressures moving in going to be situated pretty much right over us and so we're going to have mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies. It's going to start to move more to the west on Saturday and then we're going to have a passing disturbance just to our northeast and that could trigger more showers and thunderstorms. Rain chance those only about 40 percent. That's going to be the case Saturday and Sunday. Not all areas are going to see rain, not going to rain all day. It's mainly going to be during the afternoon hours. And then next week, some spotty thunderstorms will be around. Then our rain chances will start to come up by the end of next week. But again, temperatures are going to be well into the mid 90s. Feels like temperatures over 104. So that I would not be surprised to see a heat advisory kick in over the weekend as well. So you guys know the drill. Stay cool, stay hydrated, and of course, be on the lookout for few spotty thunderstorms. So let's take you through the future track into Friday. Again, we'll start off dry. We'll likely be dry all day long. A few spotty thunderstorms around. We'll see plenty of sunshine and then taking you through Saturday, uh, starting the morning off dry, but then watch what happens by lunchtime into the afternoon. That's when we could have some spotty thunderstorms moving in from the east and they'll move generally to the west and to the southwest. So we could pick up a, a downpour. Uh, give or take, but not expecting widespread rain. Same for our Sunday. If you have any Sunday fun day plans, again, a few spotty showers will be around, but nothing to ruin your weekend by any means. If anything, it's going to be the heat that we really have to focus on. That's going to be the case into next week as well, but keep in mind our temperatures are going to go down if rain chances go up. And that will be the case Wednesday and into Thursday of next week. Carly?